Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about a number of different things. We're going to talk about the video game industry and a lot of weirdness surrounding uh, some of the top stories in the video game industry. It feels like the media is trying to reignite Gamergate. Probably, because that's the last time they were relevant. So yeah, they felt relevant. There's definitely something going on. There are more and more hit pieces being done on individual games, uh, bringing up talking points from five or six years ago. Uh, we've got you know studios being sued for being you know sexist and misogynist, and it does feel like they're really going out of their way to attack gamers again. Uh, and there was you know several years where things were kind of quiet, mm -hmm. and now you know and it could have something to do. And we'll talk about this. The digital media landscape right now is not in a very good place. And I, I do feel that this is about clicks, trying to make yourself uh, invaluable so you can keep your job because we know layoffs are coming for companies like BuzzFeed, which is, by the way, still moving forward with their ill-conceived Gamergate mm -hmm. yeah, movie. Everybody thought this was a bad idea. Uh, now it's got Ruby Rose mm -hmm. instead of Elliot Page for right, because, obvious you know, reasons, you know? So like, Elliot Page is a patriarch, you know? <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about all of this. Uh, now, disclaimer: we were not part of GamerGate. For some reason, we wound up on a GamerGate Twitter follower list. Uh, you know, which is so weird because we weren't even doing YouTube when when this was a thing. We only can look at the situation in hindsight. Now, that being said, a lot of the issues that came up in GamerGate are still raging on in other parts of pop culture. Mm -hmm. um, and that being said, it's like even herpes. Oh, it's like herpes? Yeah, it goes away and then it comes back every mm -hmm. once in a while you get a mouth sore or something. Mm -hmm. You know, we've talked about this one before, the New York Times, you know, Fortnite leads to alt-right. We've seen them try to cancel PewDiePie. We've seen them try to cancel Ninja. And none of it worked. None of it worked. And now, now we've got a bunch of lawsuits, you know, obviously Activision Blizzard. I, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. She doesn't look like she did in the first game, nothing. And we're going to talk about that too. There's a big discussion about uh, Horizon Forbidden West and uh, Alloy, whether or not she's attractive or not attractive. And this article was put out there that is straight out of 2014. You know, I'm just, okay. I'm going to take a moment. So get some popcorn because I'm going to have some words. I am really, really tired of this whole, you know, cancel women for stupid reasons thing. Like, you know, they're covered, they're clothed. What the hell do you want? I love it. The same people who go out there and yell about, you know, um, agency for women and women have the right to choose and do what they want. And you're not, if you don't agree with women, you know, then, then you're a terrible person. And they say that out of one side of their face. And then they turn around and be like, well, she doesn't have hardly any clothes on. Male gaze, on the other side of their face. You know what? There are women who are pretty. I'm sorry, but there are, but you don't allow me pretty anymore. You're I think I think you're pretty. Well, thank you, but you're biased. There are women who deliberately dress in ways that you might not like because that's how they like to dress and they feel good about themselves and that's their choice. So you're basically, you know, saying that those women can't dress that way or can't see representation of them dressing that way because it'll, it offends you. So basically, they're too pretty. They're not they're, they're not uh, the right type type of character you think they should be to to because it offends your whatever. And it's like, but then the women that are actually out there like this have no representation because these dudes, mostly there's a lot of women too, but mostly men are trying to tell women how they should look, what how they should dress. Um, and I don't understand why women can't be pretty anymore. Like, why you have to make them ugly so that they're acceptable? You know what? I'm sorry. I don't see them making all these other dudes ugly to be acceptable. I, if you, <laughs> we need more balding, fat, middle-aged heroes in games. Right. Where, where's, where's our representation? Exactly. I'm just tired <laughs> of this. I'm like, you know, the women are an object either way. Yeah. And yeah. I'm pissed about it because it's like, you can't be pretty. You can't, but you can't, you, you can't be too scantily clad. You can't be, it's like, but it's women only. Guys, can, you can look however, and that's fine. Stop treating women like objects. I'm so fucking sick of it. Sorry, mom. Because, you know, like, there is no reason to make her that ugly. I'm sorry. She wasn't. There are pretty redheads in the world. It happens. I don't think it's fair to uglify every character ever because it might make somebody feel better about themselves. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting because this article... This article exists just to attach itself to a game, which has been controversial 
Well, and, no, it's popular because there's a new one coming out. Yeah, and that's it. It's It's been controversial. There's a new one coming out. And we've seen this happen before. There are other instances of games. I think it was Mass Effect where they fuglified all the, the women in the game uh, for reasons. But it's insulting because it's basically telling women that are pretty they should be ashamed of themselves. Yes. And I'm sick of it. Because you're part of the patriarchy. If you're hot... That's that's patriarchal. Here's the thing. I, I am not a thin woman by any any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you know, and I don't think that every girl should look like me because it makes me feel better about myself because I don't think that's fair. You know, some women you know, are heavy set. I'm sorry. It's the way it is. Some women are not attractive women. It's the way it is. But I don't think it would be fair to tell everybody else they have to look exactly like them so that I feel better about my, you know, just look like me so I feel better about me. That's stupid. Uh, yeah, and this whole discussion is stupid, and it feels manufactured, and it's because kind of, it is manufactured. You know, it's interesting. You know, going back real quick to this this GamerGate movie. Remember who's making this really stupid, stupid movie? It's it's BuzzFeed, and BuzzFeed is failing miserably right now. Their stock is is failing miserably. We've seen several pop culture news outlets go under mm -hmm. in the last year or two because the ad revenue is drying up and it's going to get worse because Google's getting rid of its uh, tracking cookies. So they can't do the targeted advertising. No. They're not getting the rates they used to. So what you do to drive traffic, you write dog shit like this. Mm -hmm. um, and this this is right out of the 2014 Gamergate playbook. Well, notice it's listed under opinion too. Yeah, that's how they get out of it. They're yeah, like, oh, it's just, opinion. just our opinion. Oh. Um, you know, so we're going to talk about that uh, a little bit more here before we get into it any further. Oh, we've we didn't got, do that yet? We've gotten into it pretty far. Sorry, I didn't know we didn't do that yet. We are up to our elbows in it, uh, fisting this topic. Okay. Uh, anyway, how anyway. sexist of you. Oh, my how, God. How sexist. Anyway, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, over 249,000 subs. Yay! Hoping for 250 by the new year if you guys could hit the I don't know subscribe that's gonna button. Happen, I don't know. It'll be close. We're like seven or 800 away. It'd be greatly appreciated. Make sure you're still subscribed. Uh, we do talk about video game news occasionally. Not a whole lot, but you know the fact that the situation in gaming is what led to the situation in comics and animation and uh, Star Wars and Ghostbusters. All that shit. It's all, it's all tied together. You can trace it all back to... Uh, gamers being the first ones to be like, what the fuck is going on here? You know, why why is the media turning on us all of a sudden? Yeah. And then they've looked into it and they realize like, oh shit, a bunch of activists basically took over gaming journalism mm -hmm. and uh, here we are, you know, and it happened in all the other areas of pop culture too. So Paul Tassi from Forbes, who I've said before, I actually like Paul Tassi. Uh, he took this dude to task uh, big time in a Forbes article and basically was like saying a lot of points you were saying, like, wait, so let me get this straight. You, you women are allowed to wear whatever they want to wear and they don't have to worry about the male gaze, but you're also body shaming women who happen to be more attractive. Right. That's what's going on. And it's like, you cannot win no matter the same people that are yelling at women on objects, treat women like objects. Yeah. Um, and it is interesting because I've seen this on Twitter too, like gamers from both sides of the aisle are united against this douchebag. Mm -hmm. uh, they are. So it's a rare occasion for this to happen, but this piece managed to unite the full political spectrum of gamers. On the right, there are cries that another woke gaming journalist is saying video game women are too sexy, while on the left, Kim is being accused of gatekeeping what women are or are not allowed to yes, look like. exactly. And that's, that's it. You know, I'm like, you, if you don't like that character, don't play it. But it seems like, especially, you know, in the last like 10 years or so, they're covered up really well. Hell, even further back, Samus is a woman. Going back to the 1980s, right? Um, I played games in the 80s that had female protagonists. Uh, one of my favorite game series of all time, easily my top five, Fancy Star. The very first Fancy Star, you know, it was a woman that was the. Was the she lead clothed? Character. Yeah, she was. I didn't realize that Samus was a woman when I was a kid because the graphics were so bad. I think I said that before. When she takes her helmet off, I thought it was like some dude with like 80s glam rock hair. Well, at the time, it made sense. You know, I was like, oh, hey, he's got a mullet. Cool. And it turned out Samus was a woman. Yeah. How sexist of you. How sexist of me to assume it, you know, tender Check age your privilege. <laughs> nine or whatever I was when I played it. Yeah, so... Um, this has been going on for a while. This picture, though, is not a very fair presentation. No. She didn't like that the first game either. Come on. <laughs> Brooke Shields. I know. She didn't like that the first game either. But, I mean, you know, he brings up several examples. He looks like, oh, what's his name from Sliders? He looks like. Doesn't he? <laughs> what's slider. his name? Um. Oh, is it Jerry Cum? Yes. Yeah. Cumley. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. He, yeah. Looks yeah. Like, <laughs> she looks like that. Oh, my God. I can't even see it. 
anyway, uh, I can't unsee that either. I can't either. Yeah, so this is interesting. And, you know, he brings up, he brings up Laura Croft, uh, brings up uh, Genshin Impact, which is really popular right now. Uh, Bayonetta, uh, we've got, you know, Chun-Li, all these characters, these female characters, strong female protagonists have been gaming for decades. But I'll, I'll tell you, it seems like some of them are getting uh, beaten with the ugly stick lately. <laughs> like they're trying very, very hard to make these women as, as homely and unattractive as possible because God forbid men might touch themselves. Meanwhile, <laughs> well, you know what? It's not fair. You know, for all that I'm saying about women should be allowed to choose women, women, women. Well, what about all the lesbians out there that might want hot women to look at? Yeah, are you saying are you saying that uh, lesbians aren't allowed to have hot hot girlfriends? Apparently, you know. I mean, seriously, that's that's pretty insulting, right? I'm like, you keep they keep always assuming that it's the male gaze; it's always men. But there are women out there who might want to see hot girls in games. Uh, there are women that are straight who like play play, they play pretty characters. I mean. It's the truth. I look at a girl and I'll be like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. You know, I want to play her. And it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm attracted to her. It's just like, I appreciate that she's pretty. Yeah. I need to check my male privilege. Check your privilege. Check your privilege. Um, it's interesting because he actually is talking about the uh, the problem with uh, you know women working in the industry. We'll, we'll talk about that. Riot Games and another lawsuit. I mean, this is like the second time they've gotten sued in like two years. And they had to dole out like $100 million dollars. But Which I think it's kind of high for what it is. Yeah, well, they're they're kind of flying high right now. So I think that's that's part of it. Now is the time to strike. And then, you know, we saw what happened with Activision Blizzard. And there's so many, so many game developers right now are getting sued for basically the same thing. But uh, Tassie said he's no stranger to the bad takes. But this entire argument feels time warped from 10 years ago. And one man's discomfort with various video game characters should not be used as a basis to put down countless other beloved heroines or pretend like Alloy alone is the key to unlocking some magic acceptable formula. No, Paul, dude, and I'm sure you know this. This is about reigniting Gamergate. Mm -hmm. That's literally all this is. This is about getting traffic to Bloomberg and everybody's taking the bait. They're taking the bait. And so they'll they'll write more and more articles like this, just like you know, Duncan mm -hmm. on the Last Jedi. Yeah, but it seems like they're they're it's not going the way they thought. Like it seems like the people are turning on them uh, and calling them out for these takes. Both sides. So uh, yeah, so I don't think it's going the way I think that was. It's not going the way they thought it would go. No, it's it's not and it's not going to because people are starting to see through it. People are being manipulated by a lot of journos who are just looking to clickbait the shit out of their articles because again. These these media outlets are in trouble, mm -hmm. big trouble. So they keep going back to the same wells. Ghostbusters 2016, The Last Jedi, Gamergate. Let's just keep beating these drums. Let's try to stir up some controversy because you know before you had years and years and years where you know it was Trump, 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 Trump. Well, he's gone. So what do you got to do now? Now you got to bring up the past, bring up you know dig up uh, dig up the corpses, reanimate yeah, them so you can get traffic again. Because a lot of these websites, frankly, were. Founded on, you know, Trump backlash, uh, you know, for and against Trump and all of that shit. Yeah, it's and true. It's, it's over. It's a game over. Game over. See what I did there? Yes, that wasn't did. that wasn't very clever. It wasn't clever, clever no. It was sorry. low hanging fruit. Uh, it really was. So Riot Games, creators of League of Legends, which you know, it was so weird. Just a couple of weeks ago, everybody was like, oh, look how awesome Arcane And Arcane, I've heard, it actually is really awesome. And I am now is where everybody's going to yell at you for not watching it still. I know. They're going to be like, how could you have not watched? Trust me, he wants to. It's I, on the list. It's on the list of many things. Um, it's at the top. But yeah, it's interesting that, uh, you know, even Screen Rant was like, wow, look at this representation. It's so great. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, hundred they, million, hundred million dollars. And they, they had to pay out uh, $10 million, I guess, in 2019. Um, so 2,300 employees could receive payouts, $100 million to settle a discrimination lawsuit. Well, Le it sounds like they have 2,300 women or minority or minority yeah. affected by this working there. So it's not like they're not hiring people. Yeah, they are. Look, they've got billions of dollars. League of Legends is absolutely massive. Um, That's probably why it's so high then, because I was like, that seems awfully high. Yeah, the publisher is going to have to pay at least 80 million to members of the settlement class and around 20 million in legal fees. It will agree to workplace changes that include greater pay transparency and three years of third-party monitoring. Here we go, guys. Uh, the settlement covers a 2018 class action lawsuit filed by former uh, current Riot employees in the wake of the Kotaku report. 
Kotaku, mm-hmm. uh, di- working for Kotaku, which is part of a, a media outlet, which is suffering horribly mm-hmm. right now and might not make it another couple of years. So get in while you can, guys. Uh, detailing systemic sexism and unfair treatment. The suit described an environment where male employees made derogatory sexual comments about female colleagues and passed them over for promotion. Now, this is not okay. No, I agree. The derogatory comment's not okay. But the promotion thing, that's a, that's a tricky thing. Because sometimes they're just thinking promoted because they weren't qualified. Sometimes it's because they did it on purpose. Sometimes it's because they're not qualified. Yeah, and that's never an acceptable answer current year. And we, we've seen this more and more, and this is why I think a lot more uh, creatives are pushing for unionization. I mean, I can I can agree with it if the working conditions are absolutely deplorable, but if it's just a case of we want to know what everybody else is making and we want to make sure that you have to hire one of us if a job opening comes up versus bringing somebody in from the outside. Well, here's what kid, it kills me. They're like creating company-wide unwritten policy and practice of referring men to women in the hiring, promotion, and compensation. Okay, um, so what's going to have to happen is it's going to have to be the unwritten uh, policy and practice of preferring men, or preferring women, I'm seeing, over men. And then that, then it'll be fair and okay. I'm just like, just treat everybody the same, problem solved. Yeah, I mean, look, you know, there could there be bias? Absolutely. I'm not saying that there I'm isn't. I'm not saying there isn't either. I'm just saying, though, sometimes you get passed over a promotion because you're not the most qualified person, not because you have tits. Sorry. And, uh, you know, this, yeah, so this goes back to 20, 2018. Of course, we've had the Blizzard, you know, stuff blow up this year. Now, Blizz- in the case of Blizzard, I mean, they had a freaking Cosby suite. I mean, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's, a little, that's a little more serious than, hey, maybe we, you know, Said you had a nice ass, and yeah, but they shouldn't be saying that to anybody at work. I mean, I, I mean, this is what's weird too. Like any of these kinds of industries, right? Having worked in the different companies I've worked for, when you look at like comics and you look at you look at video games, you look at this stuff going on. I'm like, what the fuck kind of company do you work for? Because like we even get an employee handbook every place I've worked, Mm -hmm. going back twenty some years. This is what is and is not acceptable. I can't. I just try to wrap my head around this, the fact that if it's true, people thought it was okay to do it. Like, because they're a girl, you can hit on them at work. I mean, and, and not to be a dick, but you're not, not some of you guys that were working in these industries aren't that good looking yourself. So why would you think they're <laughs> going to be like, oh my God, thank you, Jesus, for hitting on me and saying I have a nice ass. I was waiting all my life for you to do so. I've worked for companies where they flat out said in the manual they strongly, strongly, strongly discouraged, uh, you know, coworkers, employees dating each other, mm-hmm. marrying each other. Like they were like the one. I, I'm not going to name the company, but the one specifically said like only one person per family can work for this company. So you can't have two employees get married if that happens. I guess one of them has to mm-hmm. has to step down because they don't want a conflict of interest. Um, sorry. Yeah, we're going to have to fight for who gets to stay here. I mean, I think yeah, <laughs> the fact that they had to sue so that people wouldn't make derogatory sexual comments is absolute shit. I mean, that one I'll give you 100%. But the promotion thing, you know, if it was a proven thing that people were equally qualified, then I'll give it to you. Um, but I, I have seen women get pissy because someone got promoted over them because how it's all sexism. But it wasn't. It was because they weren't as qualified. And they really sincerely weren't. You know? Yeah. So they're like, hey, it's a great day for women, yada, yada. And again, you know, we weren't there. We can't say. I mean, yeah. I would never I would never put up with that kind of bullshit at any company I worked for or mm. managed. I'd be like, you know, if we're hearing about this stuff, it's like, look, dude, even if you're just joking, uh, could you knock that shit off? We wouldn't have had to go to a lawsuit in places oh, we worked no. at either. It would have no. been handled immediately and not worked. You know, it would never have gone that far. No. I, yeah. It, it's, I mean... You know, we've got two big game developers and the same kind of shit's happening. But I have to wonder if that isn't because, you know, you're dealing with video games. It's people are, you know, they're having fun. They're cutting loose, whatever. And, uh, you know, as stressful as it can be. But then, you know, I don't know if people realize like, hey, this is this is work. Like, this is the way you behave at work. I mean, mm-hmm. I've always, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I mean, I hear about the stuff going on in comics, too. I'm like, what the fuck? You're not even a real company. Yeah, I don't Like, that never should have happened. Why, no. is this, why is this even an issue? Like, that never should have happened. And I'm like, if it is an issue, don't make comments like that. What the hell kind of person are you? Why would you do that? So, Riot Games, after they got their, their ass slapped. Oh, know, oh, how dare you? Yeah, they got a pinch on the cheek. They said um, they hoped the settlement 
properly acknowledges those who had negative experiences at Riot and demonstrates our desire to lead by example and bringing more accountability and equality to the games industry. Look, I'm not saying this stuff didn't happen either, but as a woman, I find it very strange that all these companies are all of a sudden getting sued at the same time. One, one place won, and now, oh, oh, sexism the whole way across the board. I'm not saying it doesn't happen, because I believe it does. But what I'm saying is it's awfully weird to me that they're all right, all right now Everybody's suing boom, about it. Boom, oh, boom, yeah, boom, like, boom. you know, oh, an opportunity. I mean, this was, yeah, this was in the works years ago. But so, to be fair, so was Activision Blizzard. Like, this didn't just pop up overnight. It was, like, years and years and years. But it is weird that there is so much negativity around the game industry this year. And it's all, like, a bunch of dude bros, a bunch of dude bros, misogynist, racist dude bros. Mm -hmm. All, you know, all this year. And the media is running with it. They're loving it. They're fueling it. Uh, Kotaku's behind this, you know, again, not saying shit didn't happen over there, but it does feel like there is something going on to try to reignite. I don't know. Issue. But back to the other point, people getting mad about the game designs and characters and stuff, too. I'm just like, but you talk about dude bro misogynistic trolls. I mean, sitting there saying that women have to look a certain way or have to not be pretty or not be dressed a certain way to make him feel better. I don't know. I'm just tired of being objectified the don't, whole way around. Don't play the game. Isn't that what everybody always says? Like, if it if it offends you. Now. If it, I know, right? <laughs> I, but they did this with um, they did this with uh, Diablo too. Diablo, they did this when Blizzard brought Diablo out. And they're they're probably partly doing it because of this bullshit with the media. But Blizzard brought uh, Diablo two out, and they made sure the Amazon looked like Willem Dafoe. You know, it was, yes, it was ridiculous. I, I mean, absolutely ridiculous. I'm waiting for the 75 pound uh, overweight Chun Li with sagging tits. 75 pound. She, She's underweight, man. No, she <laughs> packed on 75 pounds. Oh, you said the 75 pound Chun Li. I'm like, damn. 75 girl's pounds die. overweight. She's okay. overweight, so she's she's packed on a few. Man, if she does those flying kicks now, you're gonna die. <laughs> she's not gonna be able to do. Could you imagine? I mean, she'd break her neck. She'd do spinning bird kick. She'd turn upside down. She'd land on her neck, snap her neck. Actually, there are some it. women who already said that can do that kind of stuff. Nobody can do a spinning bird kick. No, in real but I life. mean, I mean, you can. They can actually like do the gymnastics and do that stuff, and they're heavy set. That is probably true. I, I'm sure there. I'm, that is probably true. Yes, it is true. Yes, yes, it probably some is. Some of those true. women are flexible and can do all those things. I know some of those women are yes. flexible because some of those w women were gymnasts at one point yes, in time. Yes, they were, and they still have their flexibility. Yes, they. Yes, yes, they do. So some women can do those things, and they can bend in all kinds of directions. Right. So, it, but you know, yes, they can. So some women can't, but. Not all. <laughs> it's, it's possible. If she was trained martial artist, she could probably pack on 75 pounds and still kick some ass. She could be like the drunken master, but with a sandwich. <laughs> Chun Li's like the drunken master, but with a sandwich. She's got like a sub in one hand. And then she's just like over here, like, you know, kicking the shit like out of Kung people. Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to fight for dumpling. <laughs> Kung Fu Dumpling. That's her new name. Yeah. Because she's got like the dump. So Chun Li, oh my God, I want to see if I want to see the adventures of Fat Chun Li. You know what? You're gonna do this. Someone's gonna draw you Fat Chun Li with the dumpling. Anyway. Oh, they're gonna draw me, me Fat Chun. I thought they're gonna draw me as <laughs> Fat Chun Li with the dumplings. <laughs> That'd be even better. Oh my God, that, that would be such a great <laughs> udon if you're listening. If you're listening, right? I hope that they're gonna. It's do been Fat Chun -Li. Thir thirty years. <laughs> Since Street Fighter 2, right? So Chun Li's packed up. She comes out of retirement. <laughs> She's a little fat. She's a little thick. Her legs are really because her legs were thick. They then, Holy yeah. Holy shit! No, well, if you have muscle, if you're muscle, if you're someone who uses your legs a lot, and you're a woman, you will have thicker legs. Uh, gymnasts do all the time. I, I want a fat Chun Li comic. <laughs> no, they're not gonna make a fat Chun Li. They're comic. not going to because it wouldn't sell. No, that's called cake bitch. That is called cake bitch. Yes, that's that. I have cake more bitch. ideas. File that for cake bitch. Okay, File are we that wrapping this fat up? Fat princess. Are we wrapping this up? We're totally wrapping this up. I oh, think God, we... she's ugly now. <laughs> so here we go, guys. We're gonna see more of this kind of shit. And I don't even think the people that write these articles. I'm gonna be 100 honest with you. I don't even think they believe it. I don't think they believe it. I think they write this shit because they're in trouble. They're absolutely in trouble. That's why they're writing this shit. I don't know. I'm just tired of being treated like an object either way. I'm sorry. Not about you. I mean, just women in general. Okay. All right. Just had to clarify because we were yeah. talking about other stuff. No, anyway. I meant women in general. Anyway, I'm going to yes. wrap this up. All right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.